All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the plans for Gervonta Tank Davis after the Roley Romero is a uh, fight. Word on the street is that Floyd Mayweather Jr. and the PBC are going to be upping the ante with Gervonta Davis, looking for two mega fights. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we're going to talk about the lightweight division, specifically Gervonta Tank Davis has a big, has a um, unification fight coming up with, uh, with Roly Ramirez next uh, that a lot of people are not excited about, but I'm hearing that there is big things on the horizon for Javante Davis, who has been pushing very heavily for it, and that uh, the PBC and uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. and those guys might be relenting soon. I certainly hope it's true. I will talk about that, but before we do, let me welcome you back to the channel, subscribers. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, so you can be notified of when we release more videos. Your support on the channel is greatly appreciated. Thank you very, very much. All right, so let's get into this. Um, the best way to bring up this subject is to talk about um, something that we all know is going on in boxing, which is that a lot of the best fights that we want to get seen, to, we want to see, are not being made and that there are a lot of people well, not a lot of people but several of the top fighters in the world who are getting a lot of accolades um and being called the best calling most popular fighters are not fighting the best competition the best example for that for me is canelo alvarez at this point in time biggest probably the biggest name in boxing at this point in time and is fighting competition that i think is a little bit lower than what i would like to see him fight several really big fights that he's not that he has not made for one reason or another that i that i believe and many other people believe are the actually the biggest fights but he instead of those he's taking fights that where he's getting paid a lot of money but are just not very exciting to me as a boxing fan and many of the other boxing fans that take issue with it now he is obviously not alone in this scenario Anytime that you bring up Canelo Alvarez and that situation, you get Canelo Alvarez fans or supporters of Canelo Alvarez saying, well, what about Javante Tank Davis? You have the same energy with uh, Javante Davis that you have with Canelo Alvarez. He's somebody that is selling out stadiums, somebody that is supposed to be the biggest star in boxing below the 147 pound division, but he is not fighting guys that we wanna see him fight either. There's a lot of fights hanging out there for him, when is Gervonta Davis going to have these fights? So I'm hoping, and the word on the street is that there is that Gervonta Davis himself is pushing for that stuff to be resolved within after this Roley Romero fight, and specifically that they want to make the fight with the Ryan, uh, Ryan Garcia fight and a Vasily Lomachenko uh, and a Vasily Lomachenko fight, but also that no matter who is uh, George Cambosis fights next. Whoever that person is, whether it's Ryan Garcia, whether it is Devin Haney, or whether it is Lomachenko, uh, they are going to be in the position of having to fight, uh, having to fight Gervonta Davis because Gervonta Davis uh, will be mandated to fight the holder of the lightweight belt at 135 pounds. However, my understanding is, and this is, and I'm telling you, you know, you hear what you hear, I got you know roughly 70,000 subscribers, 12,000 people on 12,000 followers on Instagram, right? And you get a lot of messages and some people you know and you get and you really do trust them. Other people you know they're associated but maybe trying to share information that they just want to get out there. You know, so it is what it is, right? And I'm just I'm telling you that. But I'm I do believe that 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 Gervonta Tank Davis is in a situation, and Floyd Mayweather Jr. and those guys are in a situation where they're going to start going to the gusto, going for the gusto sooner than, uh, sooner than later. Gervonta cannot get any higher than 135 pounds. I think that was established in the Mario Barrios fight. And if Gervonta Davis wants to be able to become 
that big, big superstar, he's going to have to have that marquee matchup, and those marquee matchups are getting set up for him. The biggest one, I do believe, and the most obvious one, and the one that he would take sooner than later, is the one with Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia, right now, between he and Devin Haney, is a question about who is going to fight uh, George Cambosis first to get a chance to become undisputed. You know, uh, Vasily Lomachenko was also in the running. However, Vasily Lomachenko is no, you know, had to go to the military because of what's going on in Ser between Serbia and Russia. So for the time being, um, for and, uh, what is the saying? Um, uh, indefinitely, I think is the, that's, that's the word I'm looking for. For the in, he's indefinitely, he's out indefinitely, right? Which means we don't know when he's coming back. Don't know if this, if what's going on with uh, Russia and Ukraine is going to go on for six weeks or whether it's going to go on for six years. I tend to believe, you know, that when these type of things happen and they tend to go on for a long time, uh, that but their adversary is a very powerful adversary, about as bad, uh, big an adversary as you can have on this planet so if they got their mindset and making this a protracted thing and they have to do it you may not see alexander Usyk, you may not see you may not see vasily lomachenko get back into a boxing ring for years and if it is several years you may not see him get back in that boxing ring ever and because what's going on over there is much more important to them and their families uh than than boxing is right so that said Ryan Garcia, though, is the guy that it, it provided he doesn't, you know, flake out and not and stop fighting or whatever. He's the guy that has the most growth potential and really does have the potential to make a gigantic fight with uh, with Gervonta Davis, where the winner of that fight is going to be one of the biggest names in boxing. There's only a few scenarios in boxing where people are are really have that type of option, right? If you look at the fight, you know, a fight between Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Oscar De La Hoya, it was that type of situation where you had the African, you had black American fight fans and you have Mexican, a Mexican, a, a Mexican American fight fans, both in, you know, opposite corners of that. The fighter, the fight comes together. Uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. wins that fight and just becomes gigantic, right? If you look at the way that they've been growing, Gervonta Tank Davis over the, over time, who is he fighting? He's fighting guys with Hispanic last names, right? So that they can bring in, so that they can bring in uh, the Mexican fan base into the fight. And there is no better, there's nobody in a situation that is better than that. In that situation, that is better than that for him than Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia himself is saying that he wants to fight. Oscar De La Hoya is saying that they want the fight. I think what really probably needs to needs to take place in order for it to happen is for uh, is for Oscar De La Hoya and and Ryan Garcia to get significant enough win where they and and have uh, Ryan Garcia get on enough of a streak where they're willing to take that fight and they don't feel like that fight is something that is um, cannot be made. However. If they do not take that fight, if Ryan Garcia does not take a Gervonta Davis fight for whatever reason at 135, then that opportunity with Gervonta Tank Davis may never arise for him because there is nobody at 140 pounds that is nearly as big as Gervonta Davis is at 135 pounds. And if you look at how Oscar De La Hoya really grew his name, he grew his name in those smaller weight classes. I think he, I think he might have originally even come up from 126, but I know for sure he's at 135. Then he was at 135, 1, 130, then 135, then 140. But he built up his name fighting those guys at those smaller weight classes who had who had big names, guys like Julio Cesar Chavez Sr. Even though I think that might have happened at 147, but he had other guys out there that he was fighting as well that allowed him to build his build his name. And my understanding is that you know Gervonta Davis now at 27 years old who has been very professional, who's been making weight, right? Who has not, who has not been missing weight, who, you know, sh has shown big improvement and is, you know, as far as being a Fox fighter, who's pretty much tapped out at his weight is, you know, as long as, as Ryan Garcia, especially if Ryan Garcia, not as long, especially if Ryan Garcia gets that championship, gets that undisputed championship against uh, George Cambosis, that that fight is what could be made Ryan Garcia believes he's as big a star as Gervonta Davis and said, hey, man, I'm even, I'm willing to take 50% for the fight, right? 
I don't know if he really is, but I know that he has a potential to be. But anyway, man, that's I know that the people that I'm talking to are holding out hope and all of that and really believing that and listening to what Floyd's having to say. And those, and Javante Davis and his coach, by the way, Calvin, Calvin Ford are pushing for, um, you know, because these guys, you know, they want to be huge. And that is the ticket being huge. You know, let's hope that it happens. Anyway, you let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.